Hey, did you call? Yeah, I seen uh, a missed phone call from you. What? I, I received a missed phone call from you. You didn't receive a missed phone call from me. I, I definitely did. That's bullshit. What do okay, you... Stop fine. playing games. Stop playing goddamn games. What do you want? Hello? Hello? Hey, you calling about a car? No, no, I wasn't calling about a car, no. I mean, I have a car for sale. Yeah, I think I called you. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying. I had a missed call from you. Oh, my bad. What, uh, yeah, what, what car are you selling? I have a 2010 Jeep Patriot. It's a stick shift, though. Okay. Was that your wife's car? No, that's my car. My you, wife. you were driving my a Patriot? Wife. Hello? No, um, yeah, I, I was driving. I was driving a paper, yeah. It's kind of a girl car. Well, was a girl in the car? I mean, it's kind of a girl car. I'm surprised you were driving it. How much you want for it? You should, you're surprised I'm driving a Jeep? Are you talking shit now? Yo, what the fuck? Watch your goddamn tone on my phone, man. No, no, what, what, no. What do you mean it's a girl car? Like, what are you trying to be funny? You, I'm not trying to be yeah, funny. I just, I was surprised you're driving it. Is that what you're professionally now? You're a comedian. I'm a. Are you, are you a fucking comedian? Calling me no, fucking around on my phone? I'm trying to buy a goddamn car, you jackass. Knock it off. Settle down. All right, what do you want? You want to come see the car, dude? I'll come see the fucking car. I'll take your last fucking ride in it. Drive us both off a fucking cliff. You think so? Yeah, I fucking know so. Yeah, well, 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 come see the car, then. You come see the fucking car. I know where the car is. What do you mean, come see the car? All right, I, I, we'll I, fucking, uh, put your pink ribbon on your girl car and drive over here, pussy. Dude, you can fuck me enough, bro. Oh, fuck you. you. Make my fucking ball sack. My I'll come over there and fucking suck your whole dick. fucking dick. Then your, then your fucking dick is hard, you I'll swallow dog, your pussy. fucking cum, pussy. Who's the pussy you. now? <laughs> yeah, you're in love, dog. Fuck you. Baby Solutions. Hey, yeah, I'd like to speak to the coward Dennis Trooper. I would like to speak to the coward, Dennis Trooper. Well, that's not a way to start the conversation, is I'll, it? I'll start the conversation all over. I damn well please, lady. Put me through. Patch me you through. Kiss your mother with that mouth? I'm about to kiss you with this mouth. Now, come on. Patch me through. Well, first of all, you're calling the wrong office. Second of all, you're too far to do any of that with me. So, I hope you have a lovely day and tell your mom I said hi. What? Hello? Hey, did you call? Hey, did you call me? Who's this? Steve, I got a missed call from your number. What do you want? Hello? Steve. Yeah, did you, were you calling about a car? I don't know. I got a missed call from your number. What do you want, jackass? Quit wasting my time. Yo, yeah, dude, I'm trying to figure out who you are. I don't hey, know. Hey, hey, watch your tone over my, watch your goddamn tone. Blow me, asshole. You fucking blow me first. Oh. Hello? Hello? Hello. How you doing, bud? I got a call from this number. Um, you didn't. What can I do for you? Uh, I did. Don't snark me. Don't you dare snark Don't me, dude. Snark you? Don't you dare, dude. I got a call from this number talking about litigation, dude. Let's litigate. Hey, when did you get a call from this number, sir? Dude, it's irrelevant. I got. I have you in my voicemail. Hey, hey, first of all, it's not right. My name's not dude. It's sir or mister. Uh, or sir, mister, dude. Dude, mister, sir. No, you're not a sir or mister. You're a sir. You're not a sir or mister, dude. You're you're barely a dude. You're boy. You're barely a man. You're boy. I'm gonna call you boy. Remember you told me you're gonna call my whole family and embarrass me? What's good, baby? Didn't get me, baby. Yeah, it was. I know. I know your little voice. I know your Weasley little voice in your ways. Is there something wrong, Mr. McCuskey? Because I mean, my name's not McCuskey, boy. What? You actually have no wife either. You call you call my family, babe. You call my family and attack them. You, you spread me, rumors. Did you just call me babe? I called you babe. You just called me babe. I called you what, babe. You date me? Crazy? Uh, you'd wish, but I don't. Sorry, bud. You can't afford me. Yeah, right, dude. <laughs> Hi, I'm calling about the apartment for rent. Which one? Um, oh, hold on, let me see this here. It was down on 518 Lombard. Yeah, sure. Sure thing. Hey, I was trying to see. Why are you looking to move? Uh, immediately. Can I do anything I want in there? What do you mean? 
like I don't know, like if I had that place, that's that's my private space, right? You don't share it or anything. No, you don't share it. You can come in. Okay, so no, and the windows are pretty good where no one can see into them. Now you're making me uh, kind of nervous about what you're gonna be doing on the inside, bud. Why? Well, I just just want to know for my privacy. I, I've been yeah. living. I, I just it's my first place by myself. I was with my mom before, and you know we didn't see eye to eye on some things. So I just want to make sure yeah, it's a private space. Yeah, it's, a, it's your own apartment. You can put whatever you want on the windows to, to keep people from looking in. Okay, because, yeah, i got to get out of here right now. Me and my mom are seeing eye to eye. Okay. I, I I just, she's not really a fan of BDSM, and I've really got into it in the last couple months. So I just need to okay. have some BDSM parties, and, you know, she's really not very sex positive. And I don't know. Gotcha. Just, I just don't feel like she respects me or my gear and all the stuff needed to do, like, host a successful BDSM party. So sure, I just man. want my own BDSM place. BDSM parties. If that's what you need to get by in life, then, then so be it. Excuse me? I, if that's what you're into, man, I, I'm all for it. Whatever makes you happy. Oh, you want to come? No, I don't want to come. I'm not into it, but I'm glad that somebody's into it because you're really keeping it alive. It's a dying trait right now, and if you're into it as much as you say you are, then I'm really actually excited because changes are coming, positive changes all across the globe. Well, good. Well, I appreciate that. Maybe talk to my so mom. Do you want? Do you want? I'm gonna come to, in right I'm now. Yeah, you want to come in right now? Come to my office. We'll drive down together. All right, where is it at? I don't know. What should I wear? You should probably just wear a sock on your cock, bro. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? I can hear you. You selling them bones? I am. Uh, they're all dinosaur bones, right? No, they're not all dinosaur bones. They're all different kinds of animals. There are some, there's a couple that I believe are dinosaur bones, but I do not believe they are. How can I verify? Which dinos do you have? I don't know. I got them in a mud pit in Arizona. You found them in a mud, you found dinosaur bones in a mud pit in Arizona and you're selling them on Craigslist? Uh, there's only there's only one or two of them. The rest are bones that I found all different places. People have given me. I've collected. My brothers have given me. Um, so like between, to uh, excuse me, between you and your brothers, you think I get a full time? <laughs> <laughs> between you and your brothers, do you think I get a full time dinosaurus Rex? <laughs> <laughs> You guys saw both. Yeah. If you're interested in <laughs> the collection, yeah. then you need to say so. Because otherwise, I'm just going to hang up. No, no, no. I'm serious. I'm serious. I got, a, I got a case of the giggles right now. I was getting tickled. Okay. I don't know what you said. I was getting I... tickled. I was getting tickled. <laughs> I want to buy a T-Rex. Can you make it happen? No. How about a Brontosaurus? Merry Christmas, and I hope about, you have a good New Year. How about a steak of sorts? <laughs> 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 Hello? Hello? Hey, I just got a call from this number like 10 minutes ago. Yeah, you're selling a gaming station? Yeah, it's the next one? Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, I'm just letting you know that I actually flagged your post for removal. Hello? Hello? Yeah. I flagged your post for removal. I just didn't think it was actually what you had offered. And I think the pictures you took from Google. Why? I don't think it was what it was supposed to be. I didn't trust it, so I flagged it. <laughs> what does that mean? What are you talking about? I flagged your post for removal. Why? Because I didn't trust it. You have a Florida area okay. code, first strike. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Secondly, I did not trust it. Okay. Well, so you start some, over. Uh, you got some, like, schizophrenic issues or something, man? Do you have schizophrenic issues? I could sue you for that. No, nah, dude. You can sue me for that? Yeah. It's not funny. You got some issues, then. Go back to Florida. Get a fucking egg. Go back to Florida. Uh, no, I don't think I want to. I wouldn't want to either, but you have to. Get out of here. <laughs> you got issues, man. Goodbye. Yep, I have fun. Cops. Okay, you do that. I'm sure they have a big file on you. You're gay. <laughs> that was a good one. Were you in second grade? Your Xbox is gay, too. It sounded like Pee Wee Herman, then. Did you ever play Tomb Raider with a rumble pack and put it on your wiener? <laughs> oh, my God. You're flagged for removal right now.
I just clicked the button. I don't really care, dude. Yeah, you do. Why would I care? Then I'm going to remove it. What's with your laid-back attitude? I'm from Florida. That's kind of how we are. Now you guys all smoke meth. We all smoke meth. Are you a stoner? Uh, maybe I am. I'm calling the cops. Oh, my God. The cops? Yo. No way. Look, They're going to come arrest me because I said I was a stoner. They'll arrest you because you were from fucking bucket. Florida. You probably have a crack pipe well, in your pocket, but yo, go the fuck home, <laughs> get out of this I area, go back to Florida, no, right? Hey, yeah, you're a fucking no, crackhead. No, crackhead. Who else sells no, a no, fucking no, Xbox no, on Craigslist? <laughs> oh, so, yeah, get a fucking job, stop selling you know, stolen I Xboxes. I swear to God, I used to talk to people like you every day. I used to, like, I start with the fucking crazy people, dude. You're calling uh, me crazy? You're the one hospital. selling fucking uh, Xbox uh, One. Dude, that's junk, throw it in the trash. That's junk. You're selling yeah, junk on the you internet. In I'm month, crazy. Dude. You're selling I'll see junk. You in a month. Huh? I'll see you in a month, man. You'll You're be selling junk on hospital. the internet, dude. <laughs> you guys are serious. I'm take off, you. take off your tinfoil hat. Throw that <laughs> fucking Xbox out and go get a job, I right? I have a tinfoil hat. You're just randomly I, reporting. I won't. You're you. randomly reporting. Fucking Craigslist ad, dude. That's what you do all day. I have a serious question for you. What? Are you retarded? <laughs> oh. I'll take oh, that as a God. yes. I'm retarded. I'm full on retarded. Okay, good. I thought so. Yeah, was, At least that explains your behavior. Huh? Hey, are you the one that. Huh? What'd you say, you stoner? Hey, hello. Hello? Hey. Is this the guy my, uh, my kid's been fucking with on the. On the <laughs> Dad. Yeah. You guys are a fucking joke, dude. What's going on here, huh? Oh my god. Is my son says uh more fucking believable. Hold on, my son said you're the uh dipshit who doesn't have a job so he's selling Xboxes on Craigslist. Is that true? Uh trying to make your fishing schemes more believable. Is that true? Are you the dipshit that doesn't have a job so he's selling Xbox ones? <laughs> oh, come on, man. Man up and answer that question, you fucking pussy. I just said yes. I'm selling an Xbox 360, not an Xbox One. Oh. I'll give you a 10% discount because you guys are kind of like retarded. It's kind of like a charity case. <laughs> You're going to give a 10% 10, 10 discount because we're retarded? <laughs> How much are you selling it for? I'll give you for 81. No, fuck. I'll call it 80 even. That's like 80 bucks? That's like an 11% discount, man. How fucking broke are you that you're trying to get rid of it? Oh, uh, no, I just want an Xbox One, so I don't need it anymore. Oh, so nice. Here, you know, I'll just throw it up there. What games are you playing? I'll play it. You want to fucking start playing together? <laughs> what games you got? I got, I got, um, the, the Halo Remaster or whatever you play. That's pretty much all I play. Oh, uh, Halo's for fucking <laughs> dorks. Halo, <laughs> Halo's for play? virgins. What do you play? I play fucking real shit. NHL, Madden, <laughs> dude. Sports <laughs> games. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. I play sports you games, you fucking smashed, bitch. You wanna get smashed in Madden? I'll fucking smash you in Madden, Oh my dude. god. Okay, what's the gamer tag? Uh, oh hold on. I don't have a gamer tag. I have a PlayStation 4. <laughs> oh oh man, I think uh, I think we ended up making a friend here. We have a friend, dude. Yeah. What's your name, dude? My name's Marshall, man. What's your name? Marshall? Uh, I'm Matt. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna go, but uh. You're the man. You're the man. It was nice talking to you. Wait, 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 wait. Just I want to know, like, what, what's the uh, what's the reason you guys like do this? Uh. Fucking with people. You think I should tell them? Yeah, you man. might. If we tell you, are you gonna be fucking gay about it? I mean, is it a fishing scam? Because that's kind of what I thought it was. No, it's not a scam. We have a fucking comedy podcast, and we call people, and with the, every podcast we start by prank calling Craigslist people. Oh, really? Yeah, but... Um, yeah, because I got, like, a text message saying, like, three repeat people recorded this or something as a scam. Huh. All right. Oh, my... Hi, is this Debbie? Uh, this is Debbie. Uh, who's calling? I'm calling about the car on Craigslist. Uh, hold on a moment. Yeah. Hold on one minute, she'll be right with you. Yeah. Hello, this is Debbie. Hi, I'm calling about the 2005 Saturn Ion 2. 
Uh, yes. I'm I do have to let you know that the, the price was in there wrong. Well, what is the price? I just did update it. The price is thirteen fifty. Okay, well, I actually am going to report this to Craigslist under bait and switch because you're not allowed to do that. Plus, this thing was involved in an accident, so it's going it's to be flagged. Your ad, your ad is getting flagged for removal now. Why? Because I'm reporting it. You had a misleading price. Why? This is, this is bait no, and switch. No, I just... It's, this is I didn't bait, bait and switch. switch. I just Debbie? updated it. I Debbie? typed it in wrong. It's bait I typed and switch. It in wrong. Classic and bait and switch. And it was not involved in a clean title. Flagged for removal. Title. Flagged for removal. Who are you? I was interested in buying the car, and now I don't want it. Okay. You told me it was 350 Their car's been involved in an accident. I see the accident right. pictures. And you did yes, a bait and it switch. Was. And I, Debbie, you know, I disclosed that it's a front end. You Debbie, flag for removal. Like flagged, flagged for removal. <laughs> Debbie? Hello? Hey, yeah, I'm calling about that bounce house. Yeah, I just posted that. Yeah, uh, I'm pretty interested. Yeah, so I still have it. It's a brand new ad, so, and I live in Everett, and I don't know if you want to take a look at it. Now, how long was it in your backyard for? Uh, I'm sorry, say it again? How long did you have it in your backyard for? I just set it up for the picture. You know, it's uh, inflatable, so I always keep it in the basement. Okay, so when you had it in your backyard, do you have a lot of the neighborhood kids come over to play? Nope. Really? Nope, it's in excellent condition. It's almost like brand new. Hmm. You think if you had that thing in your backyard, you'd get a lot of kids coming and playing in your house? You know, just hanging out? Everybody has everybody has one in the neighborhood. Everyone has one? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, like, seriously, if you had one of those, I just I just want the neighborhood kids to start coming over. You know, I want my house to kind of be, like, the cool spot for them. So I just want to put it up. Yeah, it, it's a great thing. It's like a kid magnet, but we have so many in the neighborhood, and we have uh, trampolines and everything, so... Nobody really comes over. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking for and a kid it's, magnet. It's like brand new, so... And then it's very, very uh, heavy duty. Yeah, so well, no, that, that's good. I, I'm looking I'm looking for a kid magnet. I don't have any kids, and I live in a neighborhood full of them, so I oh, want to get them to play here. It. Oh, then it's perfect. Perfect. Now, do I have to pass any kind of background clearance or anything for this thing? Hey, I'm sorry, I got cut off. That, that's all right. Hey, so right. I, I was just Good saying, you, you said this thing's a kid magnet. Uh, that's just what I'm looking for. I don't have any kids. I just want them to come play in my yard a little bit, you know, lively things up. Uh -huh. um, so that's it. I can come. I can give you $200 cash? Yeah, that would be awesome. That's, that's what I'm asking for. Okay, well, I have to register that I am a registered sex offender, so I have to let you know that. But I, you know, that that's neither. That was a long time ago. But I have to tell that whenever I buy any kind of like playground equipment, bouncy houses, seesaws. So, but yeah, either way, man, I'll be over there with the cash in a little bit, right? Uh, Ben, are you coming? When am I coming? I'll, I'll come right now. I'm not home right now. I need to get these little kids. Oh, I need to get these little kids in my yard stat. So I'll be by soon. Where are you at? Uh, I'm in Havertown. Okay. One seven one four. So I, you don't you don't mind I, selling the bouncy house to a registered sex offender that doesn't bother you? I mean I'm reformed. Registered. I'm a registered sex offender. I have to tell you this before I buy this off you. I'm mandated by law. I've had issues in the past. Wow. But I'm not going to use it for that. I really just want the kids. I'm I'm different now. Let me I'll give you five hundred bucks. Uh, I'll, no, 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 no. Fifteen, fifteen hundred dollars. No, no. Why? Thank you. No, thank you. Just because I'm a sex offender? <laughs> Senator Pat Toomey's office. This is Nick. Hi, I'd like to speak with Senator Toomey. Uh, the senator's not available at this time, but how can I help? When can I call him? Excuse me? When is he available? What can I help you with, sir? Well, I just wanted to congratulate him on his win and talk about how fucking cool he is. Oh, we appreciate that. We'll let him know. Well, when is he available? Yeah, I don't have that information, but I mean, if what's your, uh, you know, we appreciate it. We'll let him know. Ah, uh, you fucking, are you dicking me right now? Yeah, well, thank you for your call, sir. You appreciate butt fucker. It. Hey, Joe. That's good. 
Hey, Joe. Joe? Hello. Hey, can you, can you tell those guys to stop yelling in that weird desert language behind you? What's up? Hey, you hear me, Joe? What's up? Hey, I got some stuff I want to bring down, man. I got a whole treasure chest full of shit. You're getting a bunch of attitude off your guy. Are you finished to play games? I'm dead, Joe. I'm not playing games, all right? Joe? Give me money. Give me money. What the hell is all that hubbaloo behind you? Hello. I'm not calling you every day. What the hell are you talking about? I'm not calling you every day, you fucking crybaby. Hello? What the hell are you here? You, you got me confused. I'm a crybaby. I'm a fucking crybaby. You call me every fucking day. You're, yeah, you sound like a fucking crybaby. I'm not calling you every day. I don't know what you're talking about. What do you want to do? I want to come down there and give you the fucking treasure, man. Yeah, the treasure. What are you smoking, Tommy? What am I smoking? Yeah, what are you smoking? Smoking Kush, dog. What are you smoking? Nothing. No shit. No shit. You need some Kush? Oh, man. Yo, I'm dead serious. I have a fucking treasure chest, but I think I might have got... Oh, fuck you. <laughs> hey, I need to talk to Joe the jeweler. I got to clear the air. Yeah, who is it? Seriously. What? I gotta talk to Joe the jeweler. I need to clear the air. Hold on. All right, who thank is you. It? No, it's not Joe the jeweler. Oh, oh. Wait, who this isn't Joe the jeweler? You want Joe? I can let you talk to Joe. Yes, please. Let me jewelry. Thank okay. you. Okay. Yeah. Bye. Oh. Hello. Yo, Joe. What's up? I think we got off on the wrong foot, man. This is Joe the jeweler, right? No, no. What do you mean? Yo. All I want to do was just show you the fucking treasure, but I think you're scared of the pirate's curse. I can assure you, you won't get the pirate's curse on this treasure. I don't know what you're talking about. Right. I have a treasure chest full of gold, rubies, and emeralds. So what do you need me for? I'm gonna help. You're gonna help me sell it. I'm gonna help sell. It. Yeah, dude, you don't sell gold. Oh, uh, I mean, what's wrong with you? Tell me what the fuck you're smoking. Seriously. I'm not smoking anything. I have pi Are you scared of the pirate's curse? What the fuck are you smoking? What are you smoking? I'm not smoking anything. I have a treasure chest. You're the only one I know who can help me sell this. But, but, you gotta watch out for the ghost swashbucklers who are gonna try to get us. Joe. Hey, is this Bryant? Hey Brian, I got a. Uh, I checked out your Craigslist ad and I found a nice uh, little little offer for you here. All right. Now I got my 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 nephew uh, an 03 Corolla a while back, but it turns out you're not allowed to give uh, retarded guys cars. So I got this Corolla just lying around. All right. Now, I saw some of that shit you were offering on Craigslist, and I don't want it. I don't want your watch. I don't want your fucking guitar. I need a favor of you. All right. So I got this dog, right? And I need to get rid of it. And I don't have the heart to do it. All right? Are you connecting the dots here a little bit, Bryant? I'll give you a Corolla if you come over here and get rid of this fucking dog for me. No problem. I'm looking for a pet. No, I'm not trying to give it away. I need it dead. I need you Why? to... I, I need it dead. Why? Because it's a bad dog. What did it do? What did it do? It bit my nephew. No. So I need you to come over here, and I'm also, I'm opposed to guns. I need to give this dog a warrior's death. I need you to strangle it. Sorry, I get emotional. So are you willing to, to strangle a Jack Russell Terrier for an 03 Corolla? All right, 
Well, good for you. I can give the next home. Now, I need you to come over and strangle this Jack Russell. I could possibly have a friend do it. I don't know. You got a friend that'll come over and kill this, strangle this dog for me? I want to go to Jared and let you get paid. All right, I'll tell you what. I'm going to get going here, Brian. This deal's off. Right. <laughs> that was too dark, dude. <laughs> that <got> too dark. <laughs> Thank you for calling Hope for Philly. This is Betty. I mean, I hope you. Is that going back? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, you know what I said? Do you guys have a like, gluten free food? I'm sorry. I can't hear you, sir. Uh, do you have a like, gluten free food? What kind of food? Uh, uh, do you have the gluten free uh, food? Gluten free uh, food. Food? Yeah, there's a gluten free food. Yes, yeah, the food. Yeah, we have we have an assortment of gluten free stuff. They're all labeled, like everything would say gluten free on it. Okay, my granddaughter cannot have the gluten. She's she's having what? She cannot have the gluten. It makes her stomach very smell. So she needs gluten-free stuff? Yes, if she don't have the gluten-free, it make her stomach a really smell, big smells. Okay, yeah, what, what kind of gluten-free stuff? Uh, the gluten-free hot dog? Yeah, we have, we have, um, an assortment of stuff. Like, everything that you'll see that's gluten-free is labeled on the package. Like, it says gluten-free on it. Oh, uh, do you have the gluten-free bagger? Bagel? Yeah, the bagger. Well, we have, like, frozen breads that are gluten-free. And some of them are, like, English muffins. Do you have the, the gluten-free uh, spicy bagel? No, we don't. We don't. The ones that <coughs> we have in the house that we have <coughs> here, they're not gluten-free. The shoes! Oh, you don't have the gluten-free yeah. spicy bagel? Spicy bagel? Yes. No, we don't. Do you have it, uh, the, uh, what else do you have that are gluten free? It's a lot of stuff in the, in the, um, store. A lot of our products are gluten free. You just have to come and look at the labels. We, I have a Thanksgiving for my granddaughter. Do you have a gluten free turkey? We have, um, no. We have, like, pie crust that is gluten free if you're making pie. A turkey pie? Pie is gluten free, yep, we have that. Um, we have some, uh, like, stuffings that might be gluten free. We have cornbread mix that's gluten free. We have a mashed potato mix that could be gluten free. Do you have, a, a, what, why does my granddaughter's stomach hurt from the gluten? I don't know, sir. I'm, I'm not really sure. Uh. I don't know what to I'm make really her. Sure what, what it is, what the, um, the thing is with gluten. You don't know? No, I don't know why her stomach hurts because of the gluten. Uh, can you, can you, can you please connect me to someone who knows the answer? I'm, I don't know if anyone's gonna really know. Like, uh, how do you sell the you, food? You might, if you don't know the gluten-free healthy food, how do you sell your food? They're labeled. Everything that, every product that we serve in our store says gluten-free on the package. That's how we know that it's gluten-free. Okay, I need to go get me all the gluten-free. I'm coming in. I'm going to come right now. I'm going to buy it. You get all the gluten-free. Get, yeah. get all the gluten-free now. Yeah, they're all over the store. It's, go get it. Get to the Give me the gluten-free right now. I can hear you fine. Okay, great. So the reason for my call today is to let you know that you are in time now to receive a free supply of our maximum stress Naomi? diet pills. Naomi? Naomi? Uh-huh. Um, I have yes, a question. Sir? What kind of yes. pills are these? So this is a medication. 
medical diet pill, sir. A medical I'm diet pill? Okay, because yes, I'm I'm very pills. very fat. I'm huh? extremely fat and I'm ashamed. Naomi? Yes, sir. How? Uh, yes, sir. I'm how I'm extremely, ma'am. I'm extremely fat and I have yes. a tiny penis. I'm extremely fat and I have a tiny penis. Okay, okay, I can hear you. I can hear you. Ma'am, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm very fat. Mm -hmm. Yes? I have a tiny penis and I'm very fat. In your? Yes. Where, what, what is the biggest problem of that area, sir? The what? Stomach, size, or face? What? What is the biggest problem area? Uh, what my, is the my, the biggest, problem area the, that you have? Uh, my tiny mm -hmm. penis, my tiny penis. My tiny little right. teeny weeny sure. penis. Yes. One thing I offer to you. So do you want something or a male potency? Because we have a male potency too. For is that, will that help my tiny penis become bigger? Yes, sir. How big will that yes, make sir. my tiny that penis? Yes, sir. How big will yes, that make sir. my tiny yes. penis? No, ma'am, ma'am, uh, ma a seri number. serious question, yes. serious question. I'm not kidding around. Yes. Please don't I give don't up on know. me. Everyone's given up on me. Please don't give up on me. Yes, I never give up on you, sir. I will, uh, I will pass your number to our, uh, to my colleague. Will that you? Is, uh, Naomi. To my colleague, that's why uh, she, she can under. Uh, she can, can I, Naomi? Can I, can I ask you? Can I ask you one more question? Yes. I, will you help my tiny penis? Will you help my tiny penis? I will give you. I will give your number to my colleague, sir. So that's why she can. Uh, she can explain. She can okay. explain you. And okay. can I? Can I have a? I have one more. You. One more question is. I mean, it's not. If yes. four inches hard isn't that small, right? What? Uh, forty centimeters hard isn't that small, right? I'm sorry. I'm trying to translate it. Do you do you know inches? Mine is four. What, well, sir? I can clearly under I can clearly understand you. I'm sorry. Mine is four inches. Sir, don't worry. I will pass your number to my colleagues. That for you to uh, for her to explain you what is the male potency, so that he can she can help you. Okay. She can help you make it bigger. Okay. My okay, my bye. tiny penis. So thank, thank you. you. Okay, Have thank you for helping my tiny penis. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Can't handle the tech. This tech is off the fucking hook. Hello? Hi, how are you? Good. I was looking on uh, the internet and I saw you were selling a mannequin. I don't know. What, what's the... What, tell me more. You're not selling a mannequin? Um, no, I've recently sold some farms, but I can't think of one that I have listed right now. Ah, shoot. It says it's, it says Glen Eagles at the bottom of it. <laughs> that is a picture of a mannequin. That's a mannequin, yes, I, I am selling that, yes. You're selling a picture of it or the actual mannequin? The actual mannequin. Okay, so I have a few questions about the mannequin. Mm -hmm. It looks here like it has a very nice uh, feminine physique. Would you say that yeah. it has a nice uh, bust? Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, no, it's kind of flat-chested, actually. Oh, boy. Uh, what would you say? Like C-cups? I don't know. I don't know. Well, I'm going to need to know that information because this is not going to be a public mannequin anymore. This is going to be in my house. Yeah, okay. And I'm going to attach things to it, and uh, you do the math. You, you have to um, to look at it, but it's, it's probably not going to work for you because the, the mannequin is a promotional mannequin, um, and that they use, and it's actually made out of like a paper mache product. Oh, so it, it it would not support the weight of a man. No. If I were to lay on it on it from behind. It wouldn't work. No, you have to keep looking.
Okay. Well, thank you very much and keep up the good. Well, if you get your hands on a hard, a hard one with a good, uh, yeah, smooth. Right. Okay. Well, thank you. Get Phil Gillis on the line. All right. Let's, let's call him up. Boy. Hey, I'm trying to get a hold of Shane Gillis, actually, ABA Financial Solutions. Yeah, I, I, we thought this was Shane's number. He's got an outstanding debt with the city of Philadelphia. We're trying to settle on parking there. It, it's expired PPA. Uh, yeah, he lives in Philadelphia. Um, and this is his parents' house. Ah, got it. Okay. You know how we can get a hold of him? We get, it's, it's roughly about $3,400 we're trying to settle on. Outstanding parking tickets mostly. Yeah, they, they will, you know, they kind of develop pretty quickly, and then once we take the debt over, we tax something on as a penalty and fee, so, yeah. Uh, okay. Um, well, let me, let me see what I can do. Hold on a second. All right, here it comes. Here it comes. <laughs> oh, he's going to be so bad. <laughs> you think he's going to call you? I bet. Oh, no. Just play the waiting game. He's gonna get fired up and get you, dude. Yeah, he gets he gets so mad about fucking parking tickets. <laughs> he handled that one well, though. I thought I thought he was gonna stick up for me when you were like thirty four hundred dollars, and he was like for parking tickets. I know. Well, I threw that uh, interest rate stuff thing. Like, well, this is ridiculous. But he was like, All yeah. right, yeah, fuck him." Damn, dude. Maybe I should just call him. Maybe. It's call him. Like, what's going on? <laughs> Yo, dude, some guy called for you. Some guy did call for him. All right. Like, why do you have some guy call for you, dude? <laughs> you don't have my parking tickets for your parking tickets. Fuck. <sighs> Maybe this wasn't a good idea to fuck with this old man. <laughs> I'm starting to regret this, dude. He's going to be pissed. I can't believe Chris O'Connor called your dad. Yeah. I'll call him right now. Be like, hey, they called you. Sorry about that. <laughs> Here it is. Is it recording? Sos. Yeah. What's going on, man? Well, some company just called me and said that uh, their collection group and you own thirty four hundred dollars for parking tickets. What? I thought we paid that. I thought I paid. I just paid those. Remember when I was at the house? I paid those. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, I gave you your cell phone number to talk to you. Yeah, they called me, and I was wondering why you fucking sold me out. You fucking sold me out. They wouldn't have been able to fucking contact me. I was fine. You were fine, and it was continuing to escalate. Dad, you're being a pussy about this. Come on. Hey, Shane. <laughs> you're dead. <laughs> I'm fucking with you, Phil. Okay. No, I mean, the whole thing's fine. I was, the, the fucking phone call was fake. Really? Yeah, that was Matt McCusker. He's, he's sitting right next to me right now. He's being a dickhead, too. So you thought I was going to get all fired up at MFU and this and that? Yeah, you did pretty well. Yeah, I did. Yeah, you did. How, well, you recorded this now, and this is going to be go somewhere, right? No. Well, yeah, it is. What do you think about Trump winning? We didn't get to talk about that. Now that I have you on, you're our first guest. Am I? You're the first guest we've ever had on our show. Well, your fucking show's not going to last. <laughs> Yeah, it wasn't very good. We thought you'd freak out. Now, you called me. It's like, get done watching Prices Right and then have lunch and said, let's go fuck with my dad. <laughs> so, we did. Well. I'm up with something better. That's true. You said you had a joke for me. You called me the other day and said that you had a joke that you yeah, thought I could use in my... Timing is everything. That joke is when... Trump was visiting Obama in the White House. Uh, is this going to be racist? Absolutely. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> well, let's hear it. So their meeting was supposed to take place and, and last about 15 minutes. What the f How fucking yeah, bored are you? Huh? How fucking bored are you that you're just on this fucking show right now? <laughs> I'm on your show right now? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. Maybe you should fucking chill with the racism. Not, it's not really. All right, let's hear it. Okay. Let's hear it. I want to give you, because yeah. people who listen to this are going to actually think you are racist, so you're not. Go ahead. Yeah. So what I was saying is Trump was supposed to meet with Obama. 
two days after the election, yeah. which he did. It's supposed to last about 15 minutes. He was in there for an hour and a half. So after they talk about Obamacare and the, you know, international things and building the wall, not building the wall, immigration, things like that, Obama starts, pulls out his putter and starts putting on the carpet. And uh, he says, I understand you're into golf. Trump says, well, yeah, in fact, I own a few courses. So he says, well, I'd, I'd love to play. He says, we <laughs> Holy fuck, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> God damn it, Phil. Oh, man, that's tough. Yeah, that's tough. You're going to get eaten alive on the internet for that. <laughs> yeah. Don't jump. I have to. This is the best thing we've come up with all day. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I know you're kidding. You're the best, and uh, I'll see you this weekend. I'll be home. I'll, you can catch me and Matt McCusker at the Harrisburg Comedy Zone this weekend, this Friday and Saturday. Phil, what do you think of that? This Friday and Saturday? The oh, Harrisburg man. Comedy Zone. Let me get a large group of people together, and then you can go and say how you like to 69 with your dad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's, that's it. That's the fucking end of this conversation. <laughs> I'll talk to you later, Dad. Dang. Hey, how you doing? How's it going? Hey, what's going on, man? Hey, I'm actually uh, calling you. I'm from Matt and Shane's Secret Podcast, and I started another podcast where I read people mythology and then discuss it with them and then give them 10 bucks. No, it's not a sales call, bro. You're about to get paid. Fuck you, dude. You fucking dickhead. Hello? Hey, how you doing? What's going on? Hey, good. how are you? Good, good. You're you're actually you're live on the air. I'm I'm I am calling from a podcast, so I'm um, just calling really well, hold to. Hold on, I'm not talking. Hold on, hold on. Sure. I don't know who I'm talking to. Oh, it's Matt from Matt and Shane's Secret Podcast. How you doing? Doing good. How are you? Good. Um, so I do a live podcast segment that uh, you basically get a choice to either answer a question on current topics or have me read you uh, some mythology, and afterwards. Yeah, I'll Venmo you ten bucks for participation. How's that sound? Oh, that sounds you know good, but I'm I'm uh, so tied up right now that I can't really participate in that. Can I ask you a quick question then? Okay. How do you feel yeah, about R. Kelly? How do you feel about R. Kelly? You know, you call me at, at at random, and I have no idea what you're talking about. You don't know who R. Kelly is? Uh, I... Excuse me. You don't know who R. Kelly is? Who R. Kelly is? Yeah, the singer. Yeah, I know. What do you think yeah, about it? Why are you calling me about it? I wanted to know your opinion. This is my... Th I want to get the the, per the people's opinion. What do you think? Hello? Hey, what's up, Rob? Alright. Hey, I saw, uh, I saw you were selling that baseball table. Baseball, yeah. basketball, soccer ball table with the baseball bats as the leg stands. Sure. I think uh -huh. I got my eye on that thing. Okay. So I don't know. I'm trying to see if you'll uh, if you're willing to strike a deal. For what? The table. I'm thinking of coming in hard around 12:50. What do you think? 12:50. Yeah, I mean, you know. I it's not, it's not worth my trouble. I mean, it doesn't have if it had a if it, if it if it had a football on the top, I might pay the full 15. But you know, it's only three ball figures. I'm dead. Sorry. I want this table. Yeah. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I want this table. Okay. Hey, wh what do you think about R. Kelly? What do you think? You know, you think he did it or no? R. Kelly. Uh, Same. Yeah. What do you think about him? Yeah, he did. You think he did it? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, I think he did too. All right. I'm thinking of coming and getting that thing, man. I got my eye on that thing. So you're not budging on the price? Okay. Yeah, dude, but, you know, come on, man. Not everyone's made of money, dude. Yeah, well, like I said, $15 is really my bare minimum. That's your bare minimum one? I'll do a deal on. Uh, yeah, it's not worth my trouble to mess with money that's smaller than that. Whew. It's just not. Okay, big dog. Um, 
So if I wanted to hold it upside down and have the basketball on the bottom, could I do that or no? Is it or, or the balls printed yeah, on you, both you, sides? You just have to take. You just have to take it apart. In fact, I was going to do that maybe. But uh, yeah, you can probably you just got to take it apart. There's just screws holding the bats to the plates, you know, and you just got to take the screws out and reposition it. I, I believe you could probably do that pretty easily. Now, if I unscrewed the bats, do you think I could actually play sports with the bats and then those balls and then put it back together? Yeah, probably not. You don't think I could play a little little baseball with it? Uh, I don't know. I got my. Uh, actually, I'm looking at a, a little footrest made out of tennis rackets. It's between this or that. I'm not sure. But hmm. all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna check around. I'm I'm gonna see what's going on. What do you think about that Smollett stuff, Jesse Jesse Smollett? What do you think about him? You think he did it? Um. Yeah, everybody seems to think so. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. If Kels did. Kels did it, but we'll see. He has two girlfriends. He has two 19-year-old girlfriends. Yeah, I know. I mean... Good for him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Who's mad at that? Yep. All right. I'm, 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 still, I'm still thinking, man. I'm, I'm kicking the tires on this thing. I mean, it's a beautiful table. Okay. Beautiful table. I uh, don't Where, yeah, really. Where'd you get it from? You don't think it's nice? That's all right. It's... I, I, I post stuff for people that don't want to go on Craig because they don't want to deal with customers like you. What? Like me? How? What are you talking about? Well, people in general. So you, you're you a broker for this sports-themed table? Yeah. Ah, uh, so that's why you can't dibble and dabble. You'd have to go back to the source, see if he'll take twelve That'll mm-hmm. eat into your cut. Yeah. Gotcha. Right. Wow. <laughs> Damn. All right. Okay. I guess. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I guess we don't. I, we don't have a deal. I guess we can't. Definitely don't have a deal. So, let me know if you change your mind. I gotta get going. All right, Rob. I'll let you know. I have my people get in touch with you. All right. Later. All right. Thanks. Hello. Hey, how you doing? I was calling about the stump grinding service. I'm in Philadelphia. What part of Philadelphia? Uh, west. What part of? Are you up in the greater northeast? Yeah, I'm close to there. All right. What? What? Well, here I got a, I had a, I had a question. I got a question. What? So I, I just wanted someone to come grind on my stump. What kind of music do you typically listen to when you grind on stumps? All right. So who is this? What are you talking about? I, I, aren't you a stump grinder? I am. Okay. It sounds like somebody I know pranking me because you're asking me what kind of music I listen to. No, I, I didn't know if you went and actually, I didn't know if you like grinded on stumps. I, yeah, did you ever hear of that site grinder? I didn't know if you were affiliated with that in any way. The insight grinder. No, the site, the website no. grinder. I didn't know if you were affiliated with grinder. If you were just like. No, no, sir. So you don't grind on stumps. No, what do you sir. do? What do you do to them? machine that removes stumps from the ground once a tree is gone. <laughs> I thought you like grind on them like you go show up maybe. Uh, no, that's that's pretty funny. I mean, I'm straight, but I still find it freaking funny. <laughs> All right. I got to go. <laughs> Hey, I was calling about those uh, valves you got on Craigslist. I'm sorry. I, I didn't hear you. I had to turn my volume up. I'm calling about yeah, those volume. fusible oil fire valves. The brass. They're brass, right? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yes, I know what you're talking about. Okay. Do you think I could smoke any fat nugs out of those things? They look like they're designed to, like, I could pop a screen to those and blaze up. Um, what did you say you were going to try to use them for? Smoking a fat nug. No, I was gonna. Excuse me. Smoke a. F- it's all right. <laughs> smoke a Make fat. No problem. Could be me also. Oh, it's all right. I was. I was seeing if I could smoke. <laughs> ah, excuse me. Man. I got a fucking cotton ball in my throat. See if I could smoke a fat nug. Um. Let me put you on speakerphone. See if I 
my wife understands this because I don't understand what okay. you're trying to do. Thank you. You hear me? I'm not speaking you. Give me one second. Go sure. Ahead. Uh, I was seeing if I could smoke a fat nug through that thing. Like I saw it has like a little mouthpiece on the side and like a, a bigger end where I could put like a whole nug. Yeah, I have no idea what you were trying to do with them. Well, like so I could I see the valve. I can I could open up the valve to like let some air in and just try to like rip like a, a fat nug right through there. Just you know. Yeah. Close. Perfect. Yes, yeah, so you could open. Yeah, so I could open up, leave, you get some. And close them and how they're designed. What they're designed to do is they're designed to. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's probably a three eighths. Three eighths. Okay, yeah, you got a three eighths standard thread. I think it is. Yeah, so I guess. Right. And what they do is they're a fire valve. So if something were to catch on fire and the valve was open, the length would shut the valve. That's why they're used on boilers. Oh, so I couldn't blaze a fat nug through there because as soon as I introduce a flame it's going to shut the valve on me I'm not going to be able to are you trying to put a flame through the valve yeah I'm trying to smoke yeah, a nug yeah I, I want to smoke a nug through this thing smoke through the thing gotcha. yeah yeah I'm trying to blaze a nug yeah I don't know what the temperature rating is on them when they'll close but they're basically a valve designed to shut off when they get too hot yeah, so it's basically you would it would stop you from smoking nugs, basically. Okay. Well, yeah, I'll keep I looking. Do what you're trying to do with it. Okay. Well, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Have a good, good one. Luck. Thanks. Bye. Call from. Yeah. To accept, press one to send a voicemail. Yellow. Hi, I'm returning two phone calls to my cell phone. Uh, who's this? My name's. Maybe you were looking at something on Craigslist or... Oh, yeah. What did you have? I have a bunch of stuff for sale. What were you looking for? I was in the... Uh, oh, where was I? I was in the antique realm. So I have a buffet for sale, a skin bike for sale, antique. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think it was a... Um, let me see... I don't know if it's a spin bike. Do you have true antiques, or are you just out here selling stuff as antiques? Huh. Uh, you know, I'm selling my stuff is pretty old. I sell a lot of guitars and music stuff. Well, they have to be 100 years old to classify as an antique. True in most realms. Well, I want to keep it up and up, you know what I mean? Huh. Yeah, so I'm not, I can't really think of any antiques that I have, so. So you don't have antiques? I, I can't think of anything I've even classified as an antique, to be honest with you. But you're selling under the antique banner. It's fraudulent. No, I'm not. Not, not knowledgeably, anyway. Yeah, 100 I'm years is the rule. Stuff. Every year it bumps up a year to be technically an antique. I sell in furniture, and so I don't, I'm not in the antique category, is my point. Well, I only look at antiques, and I connected you through the antique realm, and you've just def defrauded me. Okay, well, let me look. You know, on the homepage there, it doesn't really... Okay. All right. I'll, I'll find it right. I know... The coat, I know rack. the coat rack, which probably is an antique, so you probably just saw that. Ooh, that was the one. Yeah, the yeah, it was a coat rack. That was exactly what I was looking yeah. at. Yeah, yeah dude. Okay. That's not 100 years old. Okay. Are you interested in it, or did you call to yell at me? I didn't call to yell at you. I'm just trying to keep the antique section legitimate, dude. That's that's it's got to be a hundred years old to be an antique. That's just a, a DIY a DIY coat rack, dude. Well, I can pretty much argue that the uh, spike is over a hundred years old. The what? It has um, uh, spikes, railroad spikes. That's not a hundred years old. Those things are like sixty years old. I know which one they are. I know which ones they are. They're from the Pacific Northwest. I mean. Please tell me you have something better to do with your time than to, you know. Some guy on Craigslist actually threatened me with a forty-five today. Really? He spelled dessert is yeah. desert. He's is like these posts are for gay guys only. No. <laughs> no. I'm not beating off with a straight guy. <laughs> no, my my brother was trying to buy a skateboard off this guy, and my brother <laughs> he was like, Wait, wait, which Billy? Tom. 
Tom's buying his He was buying it for his kid. Oh, all right. But it was two alien workshops for 20 bucks. My brother texted him, and the guy just replied, F-O-H. Billy? No, No, Tom. No, not Billy. (laughs) Not Billy. Not the Kenworth kid. uh, No, Tom was like, let me buy these. And the guy was like, fuck out of here, dude. So then the guy texted him. I wanted to get in on it. And I'm like, yo, bro, what's up with those boards? He's like, you seem like a fucking joker, dude. Get lost. Whoa. I was like, dude, you own fucking skateboards, you loser. And he's like, I have a Desert Eagle here, too. What do you want to do? <laughs> I was like, oh. I have the text on my phone. Wow. But he spelled it Desert Eagle. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I have a Desert Eagle. <laughs> So I'm worried. I'm kind of worried. So about is that, he right? trying to sell the skateboard? No, or not? no. <laughs> but he, he called my brother up today and was like, "Yo, it's good, dude." And my brother oh, was like, back. "Yo, what the fuck, dude? You threatened my it's life." The art he's of like, the deal. You want the skateboard or not? It's the art of the deal, is, dude. dude. You got to fucking lead with a gun, gun threat. And then day two, you're like, "How do you feel about these skateboards now that I've threatened your brother's life?" <laughs> This guy, what a great negotiator. That's a good dude, way, dude. He's on Craigslist just threatening people. He's like, what'd you threats. say to me? What'd you <laughs> he just points a gun at someone <laughs> my else. My brother called him back, and apparently he has like a voice mixer. So he started doing demonic screams. My brother called him. <laughs> he's going, ah! <laughs> Spooky, dude. Wait, you, who, your brother? Tom, he called my brother back and was just like, do you want the skateboard or not? My brother's like, dude, you said you were going to fucking kill me earlier. And he was like, do you want it? And they, he called him, and he's going, ah! And he's like, all right, dude, fuck Your this. brother was doing the spooky stuff? No, the guy, guy was doing Oh, this guy rules. This guy's awesome. <laughs> I skateboard, I have firearms, and I got a spooky voice machine. That's my What deal. you going to do, brother? He's hitting you up on Craigslist? Yeah. This guy rules. I might go check him out. Yeah. You're just going to see another you. <laughs> <laughs> it's just going to be you on the other end. I'm a dessert eagle, dude. <laughs> Come fuck with me. I wonder if he saw that and was like, fuck. <laughs> as soon as he said it, he was like, fuck, fuck, fuck. It was just asterisk. I can correct it. He just asterisk <laughs> yeah, desert. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was my day. And then I fucking, on the <laughs> Patreon, funny. I attacked that, uh, that, whatchamacallit. He was, he was a, the guy was a fucking bullshit, dude. He was a, um, whatchamacallit, what was it, an antique dealer. Oh. I checked him on the, how old his shit was. I'm like, it's 100 years old, right? He was like, ah. I'm like, that's bullshit, dude. Take that down now. You made him take it down? I started, I basically told him, I'm like, dude, you can't. I'm trying to clean this up, dude. This, and then, you know, he told me to flag it. And I was like, what'd you say to me, dude? And it, just, it just came out. It was pretty fun. Yeah, he, Matt, Matt calls people on Craigslist and fights them. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. nice. I do it on the Patreon. It's, it's pretty, pretty sick. Fun. What, antique, what antique dealer? This guy was selling a fucking coat rack. It was bullshit. He was like... It was on the antique section in Craigslist, and I was like, yo, is this 100 years old? If not, you have to take it down under antique law. <laughs> antique law is 100 years. I'm like, maybe in 40 years you'll qualify. And he's like, come on, dude, are you seriously doing <laughs> He's like, dude, he's like the railroad spikes. He's like, they, they might be 100 years old. I'm like, now, now I think something's missing from the skateboard story. Yo, look, Lewis, Lewis is walking in with a skateboard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it was him. <laughs> what uh, a fucking yeah. idiot, dude. <laughs> yo, I skateboarded down here. <laughs> <laughs> now the skateboard story I swear to god The guy was just a nut yeah. I think he was just fuck. There's a lot of people On drugs Selling shit on Craigslist I think he just falls Into that category They should have a category For that Yeah Hi now Need money <laughs> <laughs> No now If you go ran, They took off Rants and Rays And they took off The personal So now they have Craigslist community <laughs> It's just dudes Like looking for A short arm top <laughs> <laughs> Looking for what A short arm top Short arm top is a guy yeah. under six, like under six inches. If you just want like a quick, like pleasant plug, just like a nice, like no frills plug in the butt, you get a short arm top. That's a cool, that would be like a, like a nickname from the sting. <laughs> <laughs> I might get that covered up with short arm tops yeah, on yeah. here. Short arm top? If you request a, if you request a short arm top, it's just, and then it's just people under that being like, dude, this is a trap. Don't do it. It's like, no, nah, I just <laughs> got a huge <laughs> dick. Don't do it. <laughs> I fell for this before. It hurts. <laughs> I tried to pull off all like the like the underground gay sex off Craigslist, and it came in the community <laughs> section. <now. laughs> I was just like, I'll tell you what about these debates, and it's like looking to suck someone on my lunch break. <laughs> <laughs> The underground gay community on Craigslist is so fucking funny, dude. dude. Just a hive of gross shit. <laughs> it's great. And they you tried could, to rid it, and they came back. That's wonderful. Dude, it came back full. full. The short arm tops, my favorite thing. Right short arm tops mm. is an awesome. I mean, thing to we've say. talked about it before. Tops are a rarity in the gay community. It's eighty percent bottom. So if you're a short arm top, mm. it's perfect. You're a fuck. Yeah, dude. Just because you're rare. Exactly. Like a left-handed pitcher. Right. It's, the, 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 it's a commodity. Yeah. I'm a scarcity. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying, dude. I'm, it, it's comforting. It's nice for me to know at any time I can just like hit Craigslist as a short arm top and just 
blow up. I'll make a hot chick on Tinder. Just blow up, dude. My inbox is full that day. That's what's up, man. It's fucking sick. Yeah, man. Are you a short arm top? For In sure. real life, For yeah. Sure. I think I am too. For, actually, I'm like I would show up as a short arm top, and they'd be like, "Whoa, dude." You're kind of pushing it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You're literally right on the edge of the cutoff. Yeah. <laughs> we can deal with your lack of girth, though. I'm like, all right. You have a lack of girth? It's all right. Hello, my name is Ian. It's my cleaning services. Hey, how are you? All is well. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Okay, I see you're interested in relieving some chronic pain. Is this correct? Yeah, me and uh, me and my friend uh, both have uh, issues. We're kind of interested in it. What kind of issues do you have? Well, uh, me, I got dick pains, and your mother has fucking pussy pains because I'm putting a 12 inch yeah. fucking lightning rod in her, dude. What do you think about that? Your mom ever come home like that? No, I hope your mother died. Ah, oh, no, nah, dude. Your mom is dying to get my dick again. Your mom's a little fucking hum queen, dude. What's good with that? I'm not in love. Break. I'm just a silly thing. It's go to... I just want to clear the air. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude earlier. I loused up. I believe that as far as I can throw you, and I don't think that's very far. I don't think you can throw me either. I am a brick to house, to be honest with you. I don't think so. I have to disagree with that. So you think you could throw me far? If I was a brick shit house, you could No, I think I, I'm saying you're not a brick house. I'm a brick shit house. Oh, I agree with the second part of that, but... Yeah, so, you guys you go do some yard, get a right. Crappy stuff to me. Sissy, come on. It's I can say what I want. It's my mouth. It's my mouth. I can say what I want. That's to be mine. What's good? What's good? <laughs> Never that. Never that. You're the wrong, you're the wrong color for me. You're the wrong color. I mean, why are you being racist? Hello? How you doing? Good. As a black man, I would just want to say that it's disgusting that you say something like, oh, I'm not going to have sex. You're definitely not black. I've looked what you up, mean? so try again. I'm definitely not black. <laughs> why, yeah. why am I not black? Because I don't sound black, you racist? I've looked you up. You're not. You I've looked you look up. Me up. One, who am I then? You're nothing but a little jitterbug who has nothing to do with his life jitterbug. but call a company <laughs> over and over and over again. And waste time. I'm, I'm trying to apologize. I'm extending the olive branch. You're not you're apologizing for nothing. The I'm next call I make is to your father, mother, yeah. grandmother, uncle, aunt, sister, aunt. cousin. Aunt. I'm going to start blowing up your family like you keep calling me. Up. Keep calling me. I don't want I'm to. Bored. You're a waste of my time. But it's fun to talk to you. Oh, it is? Yes. Okay. I, I enjoy the time we spend together. To be honest. Oh, Really? Yes. That's nice to know. At least someone gets some enjoyment out of it. Because you're really starting to be a pain in my backside. But it's okay. You guys only got a couple more calls, so this number's blocked, too. I do I do need my yard break, though. You want to come do it? Uh, I don't raise yards. <laughs> Cause I don't got a ticket anywhere. Baby, let's make a deal. You know that song? You. You know that song? What? Did you know that song? Tracy Chapman's a chick. I thought it was a dude who sang that the whole time. It's for real. I'm growing on you, and I know it. I think I want a job with you guys. I'm better at this than you are. It's going to end soon, though, because I blocked your number. You didn't block my number. Yeah. No, it's going to be blocked within the next couple of hours. Did you know Tracy Chapman, that fast car song? That is a girl singing. I didn't know that. Really? You must have like boys. Wow. Tell Bacus to fuck off. Me and you are talking. <laughs> Come on, Bacus, get out of here. I'm me and the babe talk, huh? I'm 
I'm going to make him laugh today, though. I know. I, I do you appreciate that. You call me a that. loser. You're calling me a loser and all this crud. But deep down, I think we could be friends. No, I don't think so. You're, we live too far away. No, nah, I'll come right down to Florida. And no, that's okay. It's a, it's a little shitty of a fucking state, but I can, I can watch it. I can, you know, get by it. <laughs> What's wrong with it? We're cool. Florida? Yeah. Oh, my God. You guys are fucking water trash down there. Who wants to go to Florida? Honest to God. <laughs> Honest to God. You guys are water to Everglades. <laughs> letting boa constrictors out and shit and lines. You guys blow. No. We're cool now. That's it. So we're uh, we're cool. Okay. Right? We are. Right, William. This, this is obvious. Thank you for calling me by my Christian name, too, by the way. You don't hear we're that buzz. anymore. Palsy Wowsy? We're Buzz William. Buzzy Wuzzy? Palsy Wowsy? Tell the guy to shut the fuck up. Don't fire him. Do you fire him? I'm her boss. I'm not going ah, shut the fuck up, dick. I'm never a boss. Suck a dick. <laughs> fuck you. I'm a fool. I'm a fool. You should not be talking like that. Oh, okay, I have work to do, days. and I'm, I have work to do, William, and I'm going to lunch. Yeah, you, have a rest, you have a fabulous the rest of your day. Bye, right, love you. Love you. Yeah, Brooklyn Ice. Hello, is this Brooklyn Ice? Yes. Hi, um, I bought some some ice from you folks um, earlier in the day, some blocks. Yes. And I found a rat in uh, one of the blocks. A what? A rat. You mean frozen in the block? Yeah, a frozen rat, about uh, oh, pretty big, 11, 12 incher. Ah, uh, wait a minute. A, a big rat. Who is calling? My name is uh, Bobby Kintoid, K-I-N-T-O-I-D, and um, I would like to talk to you about this rat. It was really concerning. I had this block of ice out and, uh, for this banquet function, Hold on. and everyone's Never looking. Place. But the Never weird place. thing is, is it, 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 it also the rat had an eruption six inches long. I don't care who you're playing with. What? Who are you trying to play with? I'm not trying to play with anyone. I have a legitimate complaint, madam. I right, let me let you speak. Huge rat. Just one minute, please. Excuse me? Hold on just a minute, please. But what about the rat? I don't care about the rat. Well, I do. We're ruining our banquet. We had a rat with an election six inches long. Please take this sick car. Well, excuse me. I have a block of ice that you used with me with a rat in it. So eat the fucking thing. Oh, come on. I got an election six inches long. Hey man, I'm doing a podcast where I interview people while they take shits. Do you want to be on it? <laughs> Dead serious. I'm a local comedian, just kind of want to reach out to people while they're shitting and uh, shoot the breeze with them. It's totally anonymous. You can say whatever you want. Nah, that's alright. You don't want to be on it? Mm-hmm. Shitting pretty hard there. I'll, uh, I'll let you go. Hey, welcome to the Shitcast. Matt McCusker here with my guest Chris Wood. <laughs> what up, Wood? How you doing? How you doing, Wood? Hey, right hold on, I think we have someone in here. Hey, can you keep it down over here, dude? We're doing a podcast. What? We're doing a podcast. Just You're kind of peeing a little too hard. It's kind of picking up on my audio. We'll just start. It's fine. No, it's cool. You know what I mean? I don't have to get out, but you're kind of just peeing pretty hard. Okay. Thanks, bud. I mean, I appreciate it. Well, I'm done, so you'll be fine. Thank you. You're all, sh- you're all shaking out and everything? Yeah. Okay, good. Done. All right, we're back at the shit cast. I got my man Chris Wood here. How are we doing? Good. What are you up to today, man? I didn't work out earlier, I think, right? Crick got in on it? Yeah, Crick was hitting the fucking hammer. Hitting the tug, Daryl's at the house. Yeah, Daryl's chilling. Daryl's at the house. He's there until tonight, right? Yeah. Yeah, he's hanging out. Alright. On well, this guy's washing his hands too. God damn it. Yeah, that's fine. Wash your hands. What do you do here? I never wash my hands. What do you do here? I never wash my hands when I pee. That's yes. I got a bucket of water here. I was going to get some water. I never wash my hands when I pee. That's I got a, a box around that. Oh, come on, man. God damn it. And we're back, guys. Welcome, welcome to the Shitcast. This is your host, Matt McCusk, with my guest, Chris Wood. Hey, buddy. How you doing? What's up, dog? How you doing, man? I'm all right. What's hey, up? we're doing a... um bathroom. Yeah, we're doing a podcast, man. I hope you don't mind. Uh, we just interview each other while we take shits. Do you care if we do this? Sir in the middle? You can you can speak. No, it's anonymous. No one's going to know who you are. Bruh. 
Just say no. If you don't want to do it, just say no, and I'll skip out. But I'm going to interview my boy Chris while I'm doing it. Is that cool? I'm not going to get you, dude. We're just talking podcast. All right, so he declines to be on. Let him focus on his thing. All right, so Daryl's going to be at the house till tonight, right? Yeah. Okay. He's going to be there. I on the couch last night. Yeah. I came out, I woke him up. I felt weird about that. I don't feel bad when I do it the correct, but, uh, yeah, Daryl's like a, an adult. He works for Lockheed and shit. Felt- no, he quit. He doesn't have a job. He's lazy. He quit? Yeah, he quit his job. When he went to Baltimore? Yeah. He quit before that, dude. He's lazy as shit. <laughs> oh, you listen to this. Daryl, lazy. Work on it. Kind of fucking man. Hey, if, if this is bothering you, man, we can stop. We can just wait till you leave to record the podcast. You kind of just walked in in a weird time. Code of silence. I respect that, man. It's tense in here right now. This is, this is fucking air is tense. <laughs> tense. This is tense fucking, this is a tense moment. This might be the tensest moment on the shit cast ever. <laughs> Full on holding out. Oh. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. Alright, we're signing out. Hey, I'm doing a podcast where I interview people who are taking shits in public, but I think you're pissing. You want to be on it anyway? Sure. Sweet. What, uh, what's your name, bro? Matt. Matt? Up, what are you, uh, Shane's on the podcast as well. Oh, hey, I'm good. What, uh, you don't got a shit at all, just peeing? No, I'm peeing. How hard are you peeing right now? Like, solid five out of ten. Nice. Yeah. Are you pushing or just letting it flow? I'm uh, kind of driving itself. Just driving itself? Yeah. Can you cut and hold it and let it go out again? Yeah, it's good. Nice. Really? Techniques. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Matt. Oh, I'm just bomb Uh, well, this is the third shit cast. No way. But You're the first person ever to speak on it. Yeah. That's awesome. Most people are upset. <laughs> Why? I don't know. They're just weird about their birds, I guess, being documented by sound. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I do a podcast where I interview people while they're taking a shit. Do you want to be on it? <laughs> For real. What's the, uh, what's the, the, uh, the, the gist of it? The whole gist is that you're taking a shit. Usually I'm taking a shit too, but right now I'm not because it's a new year. But do you want to be on it? Is, is it uh, like battle shits? Ba- as in what? What's battle shits? Oh, it, it's, uh, uh, I didn't know if you ever saw me in Wilder. No. Oh, okay. I'm just here to talk to you, dude. Get your feelings. What are you going to do in 2017 that's going to change your life? Uh, kick ass. You're going to kick ass? Kick ass. You're going to take names? ABC. Always Fuck yeah, dude. You're going to always be closing. You're going to kick ass. You should cover up this peephole. I can see right through that if I wanted to. <laughs> but I won't. I'm not like that. Yeah, it, yeah. they, they got to have some duct tape. Uh, back that's there. really, like, dude, that's really pervy. I could stick my finger through that right now and really freak you out. <laughs> but I won't. I appreciate that. No, I won't do that, dude. I could, honestly, on some days, my, nah, I don't think my flaccid penis, but... <laughs> Here's the thing. Dude, what are you feeling like in 2017? How are you going to dominate? Uh, get out there and, uh, and, and not puss out. Fuck. Wait, you mean put like pull out? No, I mean... You're not going to pull out in 2017? That's a good strategy. No, it, it's, it's like that old uh, t-shirt. No bitch assness. Yo, fuck bitch assness, dude. Exactly. Yo, you gotta, you gotta be winning all the time. All the time, dude. What other option do you have? Drink that tiger blood, whatever you gotta do. Drink that fucking tiger blood. What's your name, dude? Jay. Jay? You just made a fucking phenomenal shit cast. I appreciate it. He said if I voted right. Hillary Clinton, I voted her for four more you, years you, of Barack Obama. And right. I am sold, yo. I love you, you some you, you know about the Illuminati. You know about I the, know about the Illuminati is why I don't listen to KUS. Fucking stronger. You know what you you know what a marionette is? Faster. I don't know what a marionette is, yeah, it keeps my stomach. Yeah. They're, they're all fucking puppet masters, man. They're all fucking puppet masters. That's all yo, they're fucking yo, doing. Yo, hold on real quick. I'm gonna let you show me shout you out. Yo, that's real knowledge coming from the 302 Brady Proof. You don't wanna know about, about Illuminati? Follow my homie right here. Tell him about it, bro. Tell him about it. Tell, tell him about what? 
tell the internet about Illuminati. I run our YouTube channel. Don't tell the internet about Illuminati. I run our YouTube channel about medical marijuana. Yo, the the Illuminati is run by the Rothschilds. The Rothschilds are the heads of the government. They're the ones that run everything, man. They're the fucking, they're barely fucking trillionaires, quadrillionaires, whatever. And you know yo, what I mean? Yo, 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 as someone who supports Anonymous, when they were question, when the Rothschilds were questioned yeah. about their shit, they will not fucking talk on. Yeah. They are fucking afraid truth, of us. Truth, 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 they truth, are truth, afraid truth. of free thought. Yeah. Bobby, come in, yo. They don't, they don't like none of that shit, man. Government's my best advice to you is never, ever make a video chat and mention the Illuminati. You will be on a list for the rest of your life. I am just telling you this now. Vote for Bernie Sanders. Wants to make weed legal. Wants to put money back into the hands of the common man, which is you and me. And if you like me, you're probably watching this. So vote. Praise the Lord, I was born to travel Feeling like Slash in front of the chapel I lean back with the less pull Shit I smoke is like cholesterol Still dressing on the vest at the festival The best of all Had a midget Puerto Rican at my beck and call Best believe that there was naked fall Fuck around and almost wrecked the sub uh, We took acid for 10 days straight up in the mountains